Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at polynomial approximation using a special method known as Chebyshev's method. So we're going to be looking at polynomial approximation using Chebyshev's polynomial approximation. Now, if you're given a question like this, find a linear approximate, approximate for f as a function of z equal to z to power 3. That is how the question normally comes. f as a function of z equal to z to power 3 at intervals 1 to 3. That is 1 is less than or equal to z and z is less than or equal to 3. So that is how you're going to see the question. Find the linear approximate for f of z equal to z to power 3 at interval of 1 to 3. So how do you go about it? These are the steps. You have like four steps to follow. Number one is that you have to transform the interval from what is given to from minus 1 to 1. Very, very important. Minus 1 to 1. This is minus 1 to 1. That's the first thing you do. And to do that, you need to use a formula. This that relates z to x. Because here, z is what we are using here. But the new interval is going to have x. So you're going to use this formula to convert everything that is in, everything that was in z to be in x using this formula. So after the transformation of the interval, the next thing you do is that you use the Schrodinger polynomial to convert what you have here, put it in terms of Schrodinger uh, variables. Then the third thing you do is that you use a uh, second degree polynomial to do what we call telescoping which is actually converting back from Chebyshev variables to normal x variables. And finally, you convert back to z variables, which is actually what is given to you. So we're going to take these steps one by one. So number one thing is to do what? Transform the interval from this given interval to intervals in x, and it has to be from minus 1 to 1. So how do you do that? You use this formula that x is equal to a plus b minus 2z all over a minus b, where a is actually the lower limit. What is the lower limit? Look at the interval that was given to you. The lower limit is 1. And that's why anywhere we see a here, we put 1. Can you see a here, a here, 1, 1. What is the upper limit, higher limit or upper limit? 3. b. Anywhere we see b, we put 3. So using this equation, when we now replace everywhere we see A and B with 1 and 3, we have this. So if you say 1 plus 3, you have 4, minus 2z. 1 minus 2, minus 2. If 1 minus 3 is minus 2, equal to, we bring this down. We are going to use 2 to divide through. We have minus 2 plus z. So finally, you have 2 minus z, which is the same thing as minus 2 plus z. So z, making z the subject of the formula, z is equal to x plus 2, because of this x here. So this is z. If you take this to the other side, it becomes z. If you take this x over to this side, it becomes, uh, becomes x plus 2. Exactly. Z minus 2. And this will be z minus 2. You see? Minus. If you take this z 2 over to this place, it will be. 2 plus x plus 2, y0 remains here. So that's how we got z to be equal to x plus 2. Now, this is the function that we are giving it initially. This very function, we state it back. So now, when you are replacing anywhere you see z, replace it with x plus 2. You come here, this is f of x instead of f of z. Here now, instead of z here, we now have what? x plus 2. This very x plus 2. Or to power q. So if you get this down, it will give you this. So how did we get, come about this? You can take this to be equal to x plus 2 bracket x plus 2 squared. And x plus 2 squared, we already know we can still break this down. x plus 2. And multiply this out. Then we we'll multiply with this. Then we we'll get this. So having this now, the next thing we do is that we use the Sherry Shell Polynomial to change everywhere we see x, we change it to dx. So how do we do this? 
I'm leaving out this uh, breakdown because I know that you can do it. So how do we do this? To do this, I'm going to clean up uh, this place. So I'm going to show you what actually, I'll show you what actually is happening whenever you want to convert a given line of uh, expression to Sherry Chef's expression. So what do you actually do to convert? What do you do to convert? So looking at this now, you can see that X3 in converting, we actually do, what we actually do is that anywhere we see X3, we replace it with 1 over 4 bracket 3 T1 plus T3. That's what we do. Then anywhere we see X squared, we replace it with anywhere we see X squared, we replace it with 1 over 2 brackets. T0 plus T2. Then anywhere we see X, we replace it with anywhere we see X, we replace it with T1. Then anywhere we see a constant, we replace it with T0. So that's actually what you do in Chevy Chef's polynomial. You just watch out. Here we have x3. So in place of this x3 now, we are replacing it with 1 over 4, 3t1, t3. That's how we got this. Here we have 6x squared. We write the 6 the way it was. This one does not have any coefficient. That's how we just replace with what was there. This one that has coefficient, write the 6 the way it was. x squared. x squared. Anywhere you see x squared, this is 1 over 3. 1 over 2 T O plus T2. 1 over 2 T O plus T2. Then we write the 12 the way it is. Anywhere you see X, replace with T1. Then we write the 8 the way it is. But well, because 8 is a constant, we we'll add up T0 to it. So that's how we got this expression. Very, very important. How do you relate this? In, in this series, it variable 1 over 4. You can see this is 1 over 4. And this is 1 over 2. And this one does not have any coefficient. And this one does not have. So just check. This is 1 over 4. The next one becomes 1 over 2, which is half of, you understand, like dividing more by 2. That's how you got this. And the, what is inside is you have start from T1, T3. Whereas here you have T0, T2. So you can see the, you can notice the progression. This is just T1, T3. You know that after T, well, that's when you have T1. But this one started from T1 to T3. This one now started from T0 to T2. Then the ones that don't have something like this is just T1 and T0. So uh, you have to check how you can recognize this when you see them. And this one starts with 3, whereas this other one don't have coefficients. So once you've converted this to this, you break it down by multiplying. If you have 1 over 4 times 3, T1. You're going to multiply this out. When you multiply it out, after multiplying out, take the TO, make it the first term, followed by T1, followed by T2, and then T3, so that you have this organization. Once you've done that, using second degree of Chebyshev or telescoping polynomial, when you use this very degree, you're going to leave out these two. The ones that have T2 and T3, leave them out. Leave out T2 and T3. So that you'll be having only this and this, T1 and T1. So the terms in T1 and T1 are just 11 T0 plus 12, 3 over 4 T1. So that is what you have now. So after having this, get it back to your normal X. You know you converted from X variables here to Chevy Chevy variables. Get it back to normal X. You know that T0 is just a constant. So you leave 11 the way it is. Whereas T1 is X. So you replace it with x. So this is what you are having. So and then finally, the action you take now is to do what? Replace the range or interval given and convert back to z. You know everything you are given here is in z. So replace back to your normal z. So f of z now will be equal to 11. This same thing you write it. This one you write it. But then now you are replacing the interval back. So instead of in x, let it be in z. And we know that x is equal to what? X is equal to what? X Z, Z minus 2. This is Z is equal to X plus 2. So X is equal to Z is equal to Z minus 2. So to open this, you have to now open this up and start up with Z. So if you multiply this out, you're going to get this. So this bag is actually what you need.
So having this now, you've already found the what linear approximate for this. So this is the linear approximate. So you have to follow the procedure. Number one is that you have to transform the interval from this, what is given to new interval that will help you to work on it. Any interval that you're given, convert it to minus one, less than or equal to three, less than or equal to x, and x less than or equal to one. And to do this conversion, you must know this formula. And the formula says x is equal to a plus b minus 2z all over a minus b. Where a is the lower limit, you check this. The first one is normally the lower limit, and b is the higher limit. The second one is always the higher limit. So you, in place of a and b, put in 1 and 3, so that you get the expression for z. Once you get the expression for z, replace this first expression that you're giving in terms of x. So that you find this. And once you find this, you understand, solve out so that you get it in this form. Once you get it in this form, replace anywhere you see x with Chebyshev's variables. By knowing that x3 is equal to 1 over 4, 3t1 3, 3 plus 3 plus d3. And anywhere you see x to replace with 1 over 2, t0 plus t2. And anywhere you see x replace with t1. Anywhere you see constant, add up or multiply the constant by t o. So when you do that, you have this, break it down and start with t o down to t3. Then using second degree shape shape or polynomial telescopy, leave out t2 and t3 to just leave out these first two. So you'll be having 11 t o plus 12, 3 over 4 t1, which you can then convert back to x variable to give you 11 plus 12 full number 3 over 2x. Now, lastly, what you do is to change back to the initial uh, z that you are given. So, replacing back the range, you have f of z equal to 11 plus 2, 12 whole number 3 over 4. In place of x, in place of x, introduce back your relationship between x and z, which is this. So, in place of x, you have z minus 2. Multiply out, then you have the final expression. So that is how you use the shape shape polynomial. If you have any questions, drop it on the comment section. Thank you. God bless you.